Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan. For today's video, we will be covering comparison between SSD solid state drive versus HDD hard disk drive. Let's go ahead and join with me. And please don't forget to subscribe the JBV tutorial and hit the bell so won't miss of my new videos. What is an SSD? SSDs got their name solid state because they use solid state devices under the hood. In an SSD, all data is stored in integrated circuits. This difference from HDDs has a lot of implications, especially in size and performance. Without the need for a spinning disk, SSDs can reduce to the shape and size of a stick of gum, what's known as the M.2 form factor, or even as small as a postage stamp. Their capacity or how much data they can hold varies, making them flexible for smaller devices, such as slim laptops, convertibles, or two-in-ones. And SSDs dramatically reduce access time since users don't have to wait for platter rotation to start up. SSDs are more expensive than HDDs per amount of storage in gigabytes, GB, and terabytes, TB, but the gap is closing as SSD prices decline at a faster pace than HDD prices year over year. What is an HDD? An HDD is a data storage device that lives inside the computer. It has spinning disks inside where data is stored magnetically. The HDD has an arm with several heads, transducers, that read and write data on the disk. It is similar to how a turntable record player works, with an LP record, hard disk, and a needle on an arm, transducers. The arm moves the heads across the surface of the disk to access different data. HDDs are considered a legacy technology, meaning they've been around longer than SSDs. In general, they are lower in cost and are practical for data that does not need to be accessed frequently, such as backups of photos, videos, or business files. files. They are available in two common form factors, 2.5-inch, commonly used in laptops, and 3.5-inch, desktop computers. SSD versus HDD, speed. What makes SSDs an increasingly popular choice is their speed. Across the board, SSDs outpace HDDs because they use electrical circuitry and have no physical moving parts. This leads to shorter wait times when you're starting up and fewer delays when opening apps or doing heavy computing tasks. These faster speeds lead to performance benefits in several areas, such as when logging in and waiting for apps and services to start up, or when performing storage-intensive tasks such as copying a large file. With an HDD, performance slows significantly, while an SSD can continue to work on other tasks. Moreover, we will be testing an operating system comparing the speed of SSD versus HDD through starting up the operating system in Windows 10. The specification of these two storage devices are same such as having a 8 gigabytes of RAM, random access memory, 1 terabytes of storage device. As you can see it is clearly evidence that using SSD storage device is much faster in starting up the operating system at 50 seconds SSD already loaded in desktop.
Using a HDD storage device it loaded in desktop at 2 minutes and 17 seconds. Head-to-head -head comparison, SSD versus HDD. When it comes to capacity, SSDs for computers are available in 120 gigabytes to 30.72 terabytes capacities, whereas HDDs can go anywhere from 250 gigabytes to 20 terabytes. When measuring cost per capacity, HDDs come out on top, but as SSDs drop in price, this will become less of a differentiator for HDDs. However, with SSDs, you get much more work done per server which results in fewer devices deployed to get the same output as an HDD. The result? SSDs have a lower TCO, total cost of ownership. Reliability is defined as whether data is stored as intended, in an uncorrupted state. SSDs in general are more reliable than HDDs, which again, is a function of having no moving parts. That's because without movement, SSDs aren't affected by vibration or related thermal issues. SSDs commonly use less power and result in longer battery life because data access is much faster and the device is idle more often. With their spinning disks, HDDs require more power, SSD costs savings over HDDs. It is well understood that SSDs perform significantly better than HDDs. Almost as well understood is the reliability advantage of SSDs. Given these intrinsic advantages, SSDs do not need replication for performance, and they generally require much less replication for reliability. Higher SSD performance also lends itself to much more efficient data reduction methods than HDDs. Data reduction is the ratio of host data stored to physical storage required. A 50% ratio would be equivalent to a 2 colon 1 data reduction ratio. Because data reduction allows the user to store more data than is on the physical hardware, the resulting effective capacity is increased. Compression and deduplication technologies can greatly decrease the required raw storage capacity needed to meet a usable capacity requirement. That will be it for today's video guys. Thank you everyone and hope to see you again.